Hello, my name is Nathan Gould, and in today's video, I want to talk about how we configure document handling for the LaserNet connector. So first of all, what is document handling? Normally, when LaserNet generates a report, it sends it somewhere else, which is what we want it to do most of the time. If we generate a sales invoice, for example, it gets turned into an email, it gets sent to a customer. If we print a warehouse label, it gets printed out, put on a box, the box gets shipped somewhere else. But what document handling does is it takes a copy of that and it saves it back somewhere in the originating system. So if your customer phones up and says, you've labeled this wrong, you can go and actually see a copy of the label and say, oh no, it was this when we sent it. Or if your customer phones up with questions about the invoice, you can say, actually, here's a copy of what we sent. We know it was correct. And that's what we use document handling for. Now, you might be saying, oh, there's lots of ways that we can do archiving with LaserNet. We could use the LaserNet archivers for this. And we can. Uh, we can save a copy of everything we run in there, but it can fill up very quickly and it can be hard to search. We also don't always want to give every user in the system access to the LaserNet module. We have other systems we can use for archiving. AutoformDM, for example, provides excellent archiving functionality in conjunction with LaserNet, but there is a license cost for that and it does require configuration. It also provides uh, lots and lots of functionality that some customers don't necessarily need. The same with SharePoint or file system integrations. There's costs, there's configuration involved, and it could often be more complicated than people need. What document handling is, is it's a nice middle ground. So it provides the archiving that we need, it gives us a little bit of control over it, but it comes as standard with the LaserNet connector, and it's really quick and easy to configure. So let's go into finance and operations and see how we can configure it. So I've come into finance and operations and I've gone to a list of all of my sales orders. I've selected this sales order and I'm gonna generate an invoice from the invoice journal here. So if I go to LaserNet and then resend and force rerun, I'm just mimicking the process of, pr of printing this invoice again. So here's a copy of our invoice. So this has now been generated as an email and sent to our customer. That's the end of our normal process. But then if in three weeks time, we get a call from that customer and they have a question about the invoice, we don't want to go and search for it and see if we have to find some document from an archive somewhere. We can come straight back to the original record, click on this attachment here, and we can see we've got invoice attached. We've got some notes about some information related to it. We've got a date and time, and we've also got a copy of the document. So this is really the point of document handling. This is what we're trying to do, is we're trying to make it so that for an end user, there's a copy saved exactly where they need to reference it. So how do we actually get this to work? How do we set it up? There's two things that we need to get to begin with. First off is where do we want to save it? And I know I want to save my attachments in here, and this is telling me this is the customer invoice journal. So that's the first thing that I need to know. The next thing is, what report is it? And this is an invoice. So I need to know where I'm going to save it and what is being saved. If we go to our list of reports now, I'm in my sales invoice replacement. So this is the report we're saving. I'm going to go to setup and I'm going to go to document handling. And here we can see what we've just seen working. So the first thing is I've ticked on skip generic document handling because I want this configuration to refer only to the sales invoice. And we've got our document reference table that we checked, our customer invoice journal. We click on the drop down, we can see all of the other data sources linked to the query in this report, but it's the customer invoice journal that I want here. The restriction is just a flag internal or external, which we can use later on to say whether this is shared. And the rest of this gets left to standard file and for all type. We do also have some conditions here, which are available to us. We can write some code or create a query, and we can use this to say things like only save the first version of this that is run, or only save for particular customer groups or if values are over a certain amount. But for this instance, we're going to leave it as everything. Then we've got some simple notes. So invoice attached is my description. And then I've got some notes with placeholders to pick up information from the query. So here I've got the sales table sales ID in my query, 
where I've got the customer table account number. And they're defined by these placeholders here. And if we look in our attachment, we can see in the notes, sales order 494, customer ID US 028. So that's how we configure things to be attached. So if I wanted to add another one here, so if I wanted to save this against the customer table, for example, what I would do is I would go back to my original report. So this is the invoice. And actually, I don't want to save it here. I want to save it against the invoice account. So this is where I want the attachment to be. So I look, uh, look at my attachments here and I can see this customer's already got a few attached but this is where we're attaching it, under customers. So I go back into my document handling, I click on new, and I go for my customer table. Then I select my type as file. I leave all of this as standard. I'm not gonna add any condition here, but I'm gonna say this is invoice from Lazernet. And in the notes, I'm going to say it's invoice number. And I'm going to add a value here from my cost invoice jar. I'm just going to search for ID. And we'll go for our invoice ID. And OK. So then invoice number percent one. So that's as quick and easy as it is to set up document handling. So next time we run this, we're expecting a copy of our sales invoice replacement report to be saved not only on the invoice journal, but also against the customer. So if I click on save there and then go back, and go back, back again onto my invoice journal. So if I click on LaserNet and resend, force rerun, click OK. This is gonna run the invoice as normal, send a copy out to my destination, take a copy of what has been sent and save it against not only the invoice journal here, so here's our second one that we've run, but also against the customer. So here's my invoice from LazyNet with my invoice number, and there's the copy of the file. So that's how quick and easy it is to set up document handling. Without having to build any integrations or install any other products, we can use it to save a copy of what was sent out of the system back somewhere sensible inside the system.